Welcome to this week's changelog. My name is Jacob Creech. I work as developer relations at Solana Foundation. Today I'm joined by our new Solana developer relations advocate, John. Um, so he just joined our team this past week. Uh, so let's get started with this week's changelog. Um, so another call out on Solana Speedrun. This is a game jam that's happening in a few weeks from now. Uh, this is where if you want to learn how to build a game or build a game amongst a bunch of other developers, definitely check out Solana Speedrun uh, and join the kind of mini hackathon game jam. Come out with a cool game. And then uh, another call out. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them on Stack Exchange so they're uh, more easy to find and uh, upload any uh, questions you see that you, you found helpful. Yeah, engagement on Stack Exchange is, is very vital or crucial to the health of our Stack Exchange. If you upvote a good question or answer, it shows up better on results such as Google or any other search engine, helping out any developers that no longer have to go to Discord anymore. They can just search their question and answer. And moving on to this week's proposal. So this week's proposal is SIMD53 uh, Turbine with Quick or quit using Quick for propagating blocks across the cluster. Um, so Turbine is for block propagation. It currently uses UDP. Um, this is a SIMD to update that from using the current UDP implementation to using Quick. Uh, Quick, if you remember, was used earlier, uh, I believe earlier last year, to basically help out with uh, transaction forwarding across the network. So it kept the transactions from spamming the network, and now they're adding Quick as well to tur to Turbine. What do you what do you think of this, John? So can you go over why this is important and why it might be relevant for the network? Right. So tur Turbine, since it's currently still using UDP, um, they want to make sure that we're all using the same networking protocol across the entire cluster. Uh, this is helpful for spam prevention, um, all sorts of things within the cluster. So it'll help out with uh, basically getting the blocks propagated across the network over quick instead of UDP. Definitely, if you're more interested within the this SMD, check out the SMD itself. It's still not accepted. It's still in a draft or being reviewed state. Um, so definitely go in. Leave your comments on the SIMD repo uh, for the SIMD53. And then, John, uh, what kind of different commits did you see this week? The get random dependency has been explicitly declared, so you'll no longer run into issues with uh, HashBrown. What, what kind of issues did you run into previously with HashBrown? Uh, previously, if when you built a program, you might have encountered an issue with a git random that would cause the build to fail. This should fix that issue. Okay, so it just fixes the issue and you'll be good not running into yep. basically a, a state where you could not build programs anymore. Right. So the other commit I saw was rolling out Merkle shreds to 100% of testnet slots. So what are shreds? Let's start there. So shreds are basically the subset of a block that they use whenever they're trying to send the different blocks across the network. Um, they, when they send as it, aptly as it is across Turbine, like we spoke about earlier within the SIMD. So to sending these shreds across the network um, so that then they can then be combined, create a block. This is trying out Merkle shreds, which adds a few extra things of like proofs, um, uh, proving whether or not uh, I have the full block and what what I need around it. So this is kind of like still testing on testnet. It's not fully been ready for mainnet beta, but it'll be tested on testnet first. And then what kind of resource of the week did you see, uh, John? This week, uh, Solandi has released a new video about securing PDA seeds. It looks like he's doing a series on program security. So if you'd like to learn more about how to write secure Solana programs, check out Sol Andy's channel and his videos. Cool. Yeah, the Solana security is a big topic that everybody should be mindful of when they're building programs on top of Solana. Uh, it's really cool that Sol Andy is building this security series and going through the different issues that you might run into. Uh, so yeah, 
definitely check it out. It's a good series. And that's it for this week's Changelog. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. All right, bye.